Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. Wanna know how to make this beautiful dancing girl idol? Watch my video. For this, you need a plastic disposable water bottle, white cement. Here I'm using white cement. You can use normal cement as well. This is just of rupees 34. Then you need colors. I always use wall colors because they have long duration. And you need an aluminum foil. And you need a glue. Uh, you just require only one tablespoon of glue. And the last thing you need is an old cloth. I filled half of the bottle with sand so that bottle will gain some weight and stand still. Now take aluminum foil. Fix the aluminum foil around the bottle. Here I am using aluminum foil because aluminum foil is flexible. You can mold it in any shape you want. So after molding it like this, I am using some more foil to get perfect shape of the girl. Once you're done making the body, you should make head and shoulder part. So this is the shoulder part or the shape for the girl. Stick it to the body of the girl. So once you're done with sticking the shoulder, stick the head as well. After molding it in a body shape, bend it backwards so it will give perfect posture. Now roll it with the masking tape. We are masking the body because aluminum foil will have a lot of ups and downs and curves. When you mask it with a tape, you will get an even look. So cover the whole body with the tape. Now take a plain paper or a newspaper to make hands. Fold the paper like this to get perfect length for the hands. Now turn it around to get round shape. Roll an aluminum foil around the paper. Roll the aluminum foil properly and press it to get a perfect shape. The 
the shape should be thin at the end and broader at the base. So press the aluminum foil in that way. Now cover the hand with the masking tape. Make two of them and attach it to your doll. After you attach, you can bend it in the shape you want because we used aluminum foil and it is really very flexible. To make the frock, you need white cement, water, and glue. In a bowl, add 1 cup of white cement or 10 tablespoons. And add 1 to 2 tablespoons of glue. You can use any kind of glue, it doesn't matter. Add few drops of water, preferably 1 to 2 tablespoons. Uh, it depends upon the density of your mixture. Check this laddie, it should not be too loose or not to be too dry. Take the old cloth, I am taking approximately half meter of the cloth. Dip the cloth into cement slurry and soak it properly so that the whole cloth is completely dipped into the slurry. That's how it looks. Take it out from the cement mixture. Look, the cement is completely absorbed by the cloth. Now roll the cloth around the bottle to get into a shape of a frog. So I'm giving it some frills to look like a long beautiful frog and then put it around like this. Here I have attached a part of the frock to the girl's hand so that it looks like the girl is holding the frock. Coat a layer of white cement on the body and let it dry half a day and that's how it looks once it dried. So it's completely dry now. Your girl is almost ready. But the thing is, you have a lot of curves, a lot of texture on the body. So to smoothen the texture, I'm using a nail filer or you can use a sandpaper. Rub the sandpaper or filer over the uneven area so that you'll get really smooth look. Look at this, you got completely smooth texture. Now I'm making hair, dip a small piece of cloth in the cement slurry to make the hair. Cut it in a square shape.
so that's the square shape you will get now cut straight lines by leaving some gap on the above don't cut the whole cloth into straight lines leave some gap at the top so you'll get something like this now attach the hair to the idol Well that's our idol, we're almost completed, we are left with coloring. So let's start coloring. As I told you before, I always prefer wall colors because wall colors have much durability and long lifetime. And I always prefer black color because uh, when you paint your idle with black color and give it a highlight with metallic gold or silver it will really look pretty good Done with black painting and left for at least one hour to dry and that's how it looks. Now to highlight the top of the doll, I'm using 3D outliner. I'm giving it a small top on the upper portion with 3D outliner. If you don't know how to make 3D outliner, watch my video. I give the link in the description. It's time to highlight. I'm using silver metallic paints to highlight the frog on the top and I'm not painting the body, I'm leaving the body black. So once you're done with painting, that is how your doll looks. This is very easy technique to make this cute little doll. Please do like, share and subscribe my channel Vachna's Art Collections and thank you so much for watching my videos. Bye bye.